Santiago. ¿Dónde está Lías? No sé, no lo he visto. Well, I'm, I'm part of the story of a single mother in Medellín, in Colombia, in, during the 90s, uh, and it takes place in two days. And it's a moment when she uh, realizes that her son, uh, adolescent son, uh, was drafted uh, to the army. This is a situation that was a bit common during the 90s in Colombia, that there were trucks on the city from the army, and if you don't have uh, the military ID to, uh, that you get when you serve the, the military, uh, they t take you. The story centers on, on, the, on the mother, you know, and Amparo, the mother, and how she deals with that situation. Like, she goes into the system of, 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 of let's say, bureaucratic, corrupted system uh, to get the military ID from a black market. Casting was, uh, we have a, an amazing team of, of the casting team. It was like a in the pre-production, it was like three people coordinating the casting. We have a few assistants, and we go all over, all over the city of Medellin, looking for amparos. We were casting like mainly non-actors, but at the same time, we we were open to anything. So we we did a lot of research and and, and little videos of of uh, women around 35. The film. Uh, the film is centers on the portrait and very close to her, to her face. The, she carries the whole story most of the time on her close-up. So her face, her expression will be like the film. It is the film. I think the film is kind of contained in terms of exp how she expresses herself. She's not like very, she doesn't express herself very, uh, she doesn't bring to the surface uh, her emotions that much. It's just kind of like uh, probably I was looking for a, some kind of melancholy on, on, on the way she expresses and, and he looks. We went through a process of uh, rehearsing a lot. Each scene, like for, uh, I don't know, like three or four weeks, we, every day we, we would go to the actions and the movements and dialogues of the scenes. Every character uh, she interacts with will come like a particular hour, have the scenes, and so it was uh, hard for her, you know, it was hard because she was uh, learning or trying to understand that she was an actress. But I was always telling her that she is an actress. The thing is like she doesn't know. Juan Sarmiento, the cinematographer, and myself, we, we are very close friends. We've been working for about eight years now uh, with shorts. Uh, we made a few shorts uh, and we are constantly talking and developing like a way of uh, aesthetically seeing our, 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 our work. In the last short film I made, it's called Madre, in this short film I, got, uh, I put the camera very close to the character. I started like this idea of portraying the character very close, but it was uh, scope, long. But I had the feeling that in this one I wanted to just focus more, more on her. Uh, and, and not to, to show much of the, of the background. This is a very low budget film with a lot of um, things that are expensive. For instance, shooting in the 90s is kind of like uh, seeing Medellin, the city, back then. The production design is very... it was more expensive. We helped the production design through the camera a bit by blurring a bit the background and, and getting... as we got close to the, to the face, we will kind of make the, the city disappear a bit. So that way we don't have to fight a lot with, uh, because there's a lot of change in, in, in the modern city of Medellin now from 20 years ago. So it's, uh, it was like a, kind of like a, also like a strategic thing to avoid spending too much money on that. <laughs> we wanted, we, like, we kind of like a formalism way of shooting a film. 
but uh, making a balance with the realism of, of, this, of the characters and the universe of the story. So I kind of like a, I wanted to keep like a, like a documentary sense of, 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 of the characters of the story. But at the same time, I wanted to depict uh, a formalism. I wanted to, to, to show her in a sort of formalism, formalist style. Uh, and that way is like the light, uh, the, the way it's shot, everything is kind of trying to make this balance. So we want like a kind of natural light, very real light, but at the same time uh, trying to enhance. We, we care a lot about, about the, the, the aesthetic of the shot. Every frame, we try to be very, very detailed, especially with the choreography, because everything is like a pl very planned choreography of, of, of it, in terms of light and in terms of movement, movement of the character and movement of the camera, you know, and yeah, that's, that's like what we are thinking when we are shooting.